So new firmware on my SnapBridge for my Z6 and Z50 and Z7 and Z5. Oh wow. So you guys probably came in here just to get your firmware update fix, huh? Uh, I need to update my Z6 right now, so why not and get into the whole uh, downloading process. Let's go, check it out. It's real easy, it's real, real easy. Um, it just takes two or three steps and pretty much you're ready to go. But before I do that, I uh, just wanna give a shout out to Petey Reams. Guys, I love his music. Always supports me in all my videos. In fact, let me give you guys a little taste on that. All right, if you guys want to check out more on his music, make sure on the description below, there's a link for him. Check him out. Great guy, great person, great musician. Uh, so let's go on with the firmware and keep moving on. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the wrench bar right there, or icon, you're going to want to go to format memory card. If you do not format this memory card, it will not work. I repeat, if you do not format the memory card, it will not work as far as the update goes. So keep that in mind. Also, any pictures before you format it, make sure you save down the cloud or any other device or computer based to keep moving on forward. All right, so I'm formatting my memory card right now. Yes. All right, it's formatted. All right, now let's go to the desktop side of things. So let's make sure your battery's fully charged before starting this because it will drain the battery and you do not want to have this update and then your battery turn off. But let's go on the uh, computer side of things and I'm going to plug my camera exactly. <clears throat> I'm going to plug in my camera directly towards my computer because I don't have an XQD slot um, like external. So I'm just gonna plug it right in directly to the camera with the Type-C charger. You may, most phones nowadays have the Type-C format, so you can just use that and it'll work. Um, all right, let's go to it. All right, so here we have the download center. Um, we have the download center. Uh, just put Nikon do download center in the uh, Google search and this should pop up. Then you choose the category, which is DSLR, mirrorless, uh, compact action cameras. We're gonna go to mirrorless. Then Nikon Z series, because I'm trying to update my Z6. And then it says Z5, Z6, Z50, and Z7. So we'll choose Z6. So we have the manuals. You can download manuals if you want for you know how to use uh, firmwares and softwares. We're gonna go to firmware and then Z6 firmware version 3.10. July 21st, 2020, let's go to download page. And I personally have a Windows. Uh, you can do this Mac, it's the same process, it's just different operating system. So, so go to Windows, for me, if you have Windows. And then it tells you the differences and all the, all the technical information. So here we go to user's agreement and we kind of just scroll down then accept and then download once you download you're gonna have something that's gonna look like this the Z bin and then this application format so once we do that let me turn on my camera because I forgot to turn it on This is something I just got into. I didn't know that you had to do it this way, but apparently you cannot connect your Type-C camera into the computer and transfer that file bin. Um, I, it took me a little bit to figure out how to do it, but I, once I was able to do that, um, you actually had to have a card reader, an XQD card reader. Without that, that will also not work. So keep in mind, if you're trying to download this, just via Type-C, I don't know why it doesn't do it, but apparently that's 
the only way that you can actually transfer the file. So I'm about to transfer the file right now. And there you have it. Now we're gonna uh, take this off, the XQD, and we're gonna put it back to the camera. All right, so now, now that we have the file transferred, we're gonna put our XQD card into the, uh, back to the camera. And now, here, it's a tricky thing. All right, so we're gonna go to menu, firmware version. And then you're gonna see, I don't know if you can see that right there. It says done, update, and delete firmware update file. So we're gonna go to update, hit the update, and then we're gonna put yes. And then it says it'll take several minutes. So once that's doing that, it'll notify me that it's complete. And like I said, it will take a couple minutes, but it shouldn't be too hard. And then after that, you have your firmware update. But Windows, I had a hard time with the Type-C cord towards the camera. Uh, it didn't work that way. You need an XQD card reader. Uh, if you don't have that, it will not send through. I mean, I had to learn that the hard way. Um, and other than that, the update went smoothly. Uh, you just... Two very boring minutes later. All right, um, so I waited a couple minutes and I uh, checked on the actual, let's see if you guys can see that, on the actual firmware version, and you can see 3.10, you could delete the firmware update file, so you could just delete it so you don't have to have it in your bin. I mean, it's personal preference, uh, I'll delete it. Done, and then done. So I got the version 3.10. Let me know if you guys struggled, if there's any questions you guys may have. Um, it was a learning experience for me. Hopefully you guys learned something too. Um, there's some slight errors that I've read in certain comments and certain forums and stuff. But I mean, most, mostly it's because they don't have full battery. Their XQD card is some type of glitched out. Um, sometimes we we'll have to download, you gotta turn off your camera. So make sure as soon as you're done with the update, the several minutes, turn it off, turn it back on. Um, or actually you can turn it off, wait a couple seconds, turn it back on, and then you should be good to go. Um, it'll tell you like an auto light fixture of some sort. Uh, you just choose preference and then your camera will start working from there on out. Hopefully that actually helps. Um, like I said, now I don't have to see that annoying snap bridge confirmation saying like, oh, you need to update your firmware, you need to update your firmware. So, got that out of the way. Uh, just so picky about those things. So let me know in the comments below. Hopefully it worked for you. Um, I also wanna give one more shout out, actually two more shout outs. Direct Asset Dynamics. They're awesome. Go follow them. I'll put a uh, link on the description below. And Robert Silver Photography. Another great cat. He is awesome, amazing photographer. Go check him out. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.